Mr. Wall. Hey, how's it going? My name's Yale. Great to meet you. I'm glad to start this process with you. If you'll just take a seat. Yeah. We can get started. Well, Doc, thank you. Thank you so much for meeting with me. Um, like I told you on the phone, I have this habitual need to overdo things. Hmm. Go on. You know how most people would like do something to the point where it's like normal and people don't judge them? I go five times past that until my wife stops me. Oh, okay. Every time. Do you have specific examples of this behavior? <laughs> I've got tons of examples. Take for instance, my office. Like right now, I'm doing this whole like ultimate home YouTube studio thing for my YouTube channel, oh, wow. making like this massive studio. And where YouTube a normal channel. person would make just like a regular backdrop, I made this like 3D multi-layer thing where you put pegs in and I built my own shelves and lights glow around really. it. It's, it's pretty legit. Wow, that's very legit. Um, where do you think this stems from? Just from watching movies, I'd have to say daddy issues, because that's the problem with every guy in every movie. I don't know that, but I, I feel like that's why I'm paying you. Uh, but where does it come from? Fair point. Uh, let's explore the root of the problem, the, the daddy well, issue. Well, the root of the problem is that most people would just make a crappy office and call it a day. And I wanted to make like a cool backdrop behind my desk even, and my desk, backdrop. my desk, is a massive piece of walnut butcher block. I'm not gonna go to Ikea like any other lame wad. The cable management is art. Like, it is absolutely incredible. I, man, I can't, I kinda wanna go look at it. What do I do? I think there's something much deeper here than you're acknowledging. You're right. Okay. I can so go what we deeper need on this. Like, I. Instead of just having like a closet, that's kind of what I'm working on right now. Instead of just having a closet where I put stuff, I can go deeper. I can I can put like a metal shelving that, unit in there and like a whole tool case. And no, I man, really, I can like I can get all the I'm lights not, hung up on the wall. I can like I can legit picture it. Like what if I put like some kind of a door that like that you can see light through as another that, backdrop? What? Doc, you have changed everything. Thank you. That's Thank not you all so much. Saying. I'm gonna go get started. Wall, I'm, I'm not so sure. excited about this. M Margaret, Margaret, make sure he pays. Okay, so like I said, I do have a habit of overdoing things like a lot. So this is my new gear closet. I am super pumped to show you what all's in here. Even though it's this tiny little room, it is so exciting to me and hopefully you too. But first off, I wanna tell you how we got to the point that we are. Cause we started with this just regular gross bedroom closet that was pretty tiny and we gutted it out. We took the door off its hinges and we made it into kind of like more of a modern molding style so that we could get this door on top of it. Then we grabbed a cobalt workbench that you can get from Lowe's that are kind of cheap, but they work pretty well. Um, but I'm super cheap, so I got it off Facebook Marketplace, as you do. So we got that up the stairs and somehow got it into this closet. And then we measured out the space right next to it and got the exact measurements so that we could have the metal shelf that perfectly fit in this corner and took up every square inch. After that, we put Govee lighting strips up around the inside of the door so that the whole room could glow whatever color we want. Um, links are in the description below for all of this stuff. So if you wanna pick up anything we talk about here today, it will all be below. But that's kind of what gives it this cool look. After that, we hung cobalt garage storage rails on the sidewall over here that we got at Lowe's also. Really simple, easy to put up. They come with a ton of different hook options so that we could hang our lighting equipment, we could hang all of the, the different camera equipment like tripods and sliders and all of that stuff. It's just easy to grab on the side wall. But I think the thing that really sets this whole room off and the whole closet off is the door. The door operates as a backdrop for videos like right now. Like I'm in a spare bedroom that's like 10 by 10, but it doesn't look that way. It looks super cool and super modern. And I love this door with the see-through glass so you can have light coming through and you can kind of change your scene to be whatever you want it to be. So we took off the old door, we bolted this thing up, we got it so it could slide in and out. And now we have this ultimate YouTube home studio gear closet that used to just be a place where you hang clothes and now it's got a ton of awesome stuff. So come with me, let's check this thing out. I am pumped to show you all the cool stuff we've got in here. Okay, so we're gonna walk through this closet piece by piece. My wife is awesome and is sitting in the corner over there filming me. Thank you, you're great. Um, so this is the metal shelf over here I wanna go through first and I'll just kind of run through some of this stuff. 
Um, first off, we've got our big toolbox up here where we can put all of our bigger equipment if we need to throw it in the car and take it with us to shoot somewhere else. Then we've got all of these um, that a couple of them are empty right now, but we've got all the space we need to be able to get this. And these are the DeWalt T-Stack cases. So they all connect with all of these other ones like this. And these cases are super awesome where you can pop them open and all of these little boxes move between all the different types and they latch together so you can stack them, clip them. It's really nice. So we've got all those cases and then even these drawers here where you can organize different parts and just very quickly get to it. Down here, we've got our lighting containers and we've got the different uh, bags that came with a lot of these things and power cords. And down here is all the boxes that we just can't throw away because, uh, well, who actually throws their boxes away? Psychopaths? Yeah, no one throws their boxes away. So now let me show you the workbench over here. Okay, so the focal point and kind of the main point of even having a gear closet is all on this workbench here. We've got all of our main equipment here that we can get to really easily. We've got some Aperture MC Pro lights, all our different connections, and you know, you've got to have your Gorilla Pods and all that for extra little lights. Um, we've got some audio stuff. We've even got a couple light stands that extend out. These things are super cool by Ulanzi. Um, camera ready to go. We've got L brackets so that we can do vertical video. Um, Lazy Susan, the DJI RSC Mini. Um, the battery station here, I think, is the coolest part of the whole closet. Um, everything that we need to, to charge is all right here. So we've got drone batteries across the board. You can just easily plug them in. We've got batteries for our cameras. Everything is all just neatly done. And these are all magnetized on the back or Velcroed on the back so that they stick exactly where they need to go. Um, I'm not OCD about everything, but this is a good place to be OCD. <laughs> um, up here, we've got all of our different bags and dividers for storage cases and everything. Also shout out to Patrick Prickett, who's an awesome artist. I got this in South Carolina, um, incredible art piece. I love the way it just pops and glows in the light when you have a different color light too. Down below, we've got these drawers that hold different tools and different things that we can get to really quickly. So we've got all of our lens caps and everything there. We've got all of our cables here divided by type. We've even got a little vacuum cleaner here to clean up the top. Um, and the top was actually just the regular top that came with it that I coated in kind of a felt top so that we can have electronics on here and it doesn't really mess up anything or scratch anything. Down below, we've got cases like drone case and backpacks and everything that you would need down there. So now let's go over here to the lighting area. So this is where we have the lighting and kind of the hardware area. We've got light stands that hook up on the wall here, extra C stand, the crossbar. Um, we've got these couple lighting stands down here. We've even got some rolled up paper. We've got a big old green screen down here. Um, kind of everything you need is just tucked back in this corner. Um, teleprompter, if you need that to hook onto this, the lens. And then over here, we've got our slider by YC Onion. It's a really great slider, actually. I'll be doing a review of that pretty soon. Um, up here, we've got just battery powered light, different uh, um, reflectors and things like that. Um, this light, I think, works super well. I love the Amaran P60C. You can just run it on batteries and just really quickly flip it on and take it wherever you need to go. And it is so simple and easy to set up. And then anytime I'm shooting a video, I can just reach in here and grab a tripod and pull it out and set it up. It is really nice just having all of this just sitting right here. So yeah, that's the tour of this little gear closet. I mean, it's a tiny little closet, but I love it. Like even down to the, the little details of like brushes on the side of this door to block the light from going out. We just tried to think of everything we possibly could just to be prepped and have it all ready and we love it. So write in the comments below if this is something that you would do or if this is overkill and you agree with my wife because I mean, I know it's overkill, like it is what it is, but I love being able to have a studio like this where everything is just set up the way it needs to be set up to be able to quickly go and get it done. So thank you for watching this episode of the ultimate youtube home studio subscribe comment below would you do all this or am i crazy and uh i'll see you in the next one i see uh what other projects do you feel like you've overdone oh dude there are uh, can i call you dude <laughs>
so I like I went out and like made these cool walnut. Uh, you're writing a lot there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I have issues. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a door. I could have a door. Did you just not finger just point a me? Door. <laughs> You're on YouTube. That sounds, um... Yeah, I have like eight followers. <laughs> <laughs>